Tristan with Nerdots Newsstand, and I want to kind of talk as a follow-up to my video from the other day about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp situation. I will put that in the link in the description. I want to apologize. I have a toothache, so if my speech is a little off, I'm sorry, but um, I'm not sure actually how old this is. Um, I, there is a actual petition right now to take Amber Heard off of um, Aquaman 2. Now, when I reviewed that movie, um, I really liked her in it, and that's a shame. Now, I am very vested in the DC Universe, obviously, um, whether it comes to the comics or the movies, I'm very vested in DC. So, to have Amber Heard return is going to be uh, un unforeseeable. I I don't know that she'll lose this job, and I will tell you why, but I would like to see her not be on this. Now, Johnny Depp, when these allegations first came up, lost a lot. And not only that, but he is in the middle of a defamation suit because of what she has done, this woman has done. So what she has done, and um, it's not something you really want to talk about, but I'm going to get into it. I have a very close person in my life um, that I know that suffered at the hands of real domestic abuse. It started out as a too good to be true relationship and um, went on to progress to makeup being taken away, clothes being taken away, um, cell phone communication with family being taken away. Um, then the abuse starts, the imprisonment basically. And still to this day, she suffers from post-traumatic stress from this. And it's really really unfortunate that Amber Heard um, makes light of this, right? She is taking away and making people question real domestic abuse situations. Now, this is wrong. Faking something like this is disgusting. It really is. And I, and I, I don't want to see her back as Mara. How they will do that, I don't know. I don't know because... She did steal the show. She is a good, talented person. Um, uh, not a good person. I meant a talented person. She is a garbage human being, though. And I think, actually, um, as much as I liked Aquaman, if she's in the second one, I won't go see it. And I went to see that in the theaters. That's actually the last movie I saw in the theaters. <laughs> well, I didn't do much. But anyway, um, I just think it's a shame that this situation had to happen. Not for her, for Johnny Depp. But because she's the woman in the situation, I don't think she'll lose the job. Now, I have signed this petition, and it will be in the link and in the pinned comment. But let's actually take a look at what it said. It says, Amber Heard has been exposed as a domestic abuser by Johnny Depp. In his $50 million, uh, lawsuit, Johnny Depp describes many incidents, and I went over audio the other day, of domestic abuse that he suffered at the hands of his then-wife, Amber Heard including one incident where she punched him twice in the face that she said, Babe, I didn't punch you. You didn't get punched. Yes, yes, he did. I don't care. You still hit him. Hitting is hitting. Like, ugh, okay. Um, and another where she shattered his finger with a vodka bottle, and I did go over that too. His finger looked like something out of a movie. The poor man suffered at his her hand, and from what we can see, I don't know that he even fought back. I don't I don't see that. The pictures that I showed in my last video look more like makeup. I'm like, he had every right to defend himself, and he didn't because he's a good man. Um, he will bear that scar for the rest of his life. Yes, he absolutely will. So, also, Amber Heard was arrested in 2009. She is a repeat offender of domestic abuse. She um, abused her partner at the time. Tasia Van Rie, uh, demonstrating repeating pattern of abuse. Now, if this repetition of pattern keeps happening, who, and now that she's in a new relationship with a new female, I don't know her name, what do you think's gonna happen? Like, this is something she does. Not only that, but we do have, um, there is a little, um, uh, I guess a laughable excuse of what her lawyer says to the, the audio recordings that I went over before. He says, the fact that a woman fights or talks back does not mean that she has not been the subject of repeat domestic violence or abuse. 
Again, placing the blame on Johnny Depp when there has been literally zero evidence of it. But there's evidence to the contrary. But of course, right? Believe women, right? Okay. In the myth, it's a myth to say, as Mr. Depp apparently is implying that if Miss Heard slapped him, that she can't also be a victim. That is not true. Now, more is, like, I want to see this evidence. I'm not going to believe anything unless there's evidence. Now, I'm not saying there could have been um, a domestic abuse at his hand, too. But there is clear-cut evidence at her hand. And I don't think that WB should associate the acceptance of violence in real life, domestic violence, with their brand. It's not a good look. Like, already what they're doing kind of going down this post me too feminist rabbit hole isn't good anyway now the joker the joker was fantastic i but i i put most of that on todd phillips and joaquin phoenix even though he's a bundle of crazy but even so um they're going down this rabbit hole and i don't think that they're actually going to do anything about it and that's a shame it really is a shame because uh, it takes away it makes women look bad. Real women have been hurt. Real women have been victimized. You know what a victim does, though? Okay, so a real victim of domestic abuse doesn't go on Twitter and write up something like, oh, he hurt me. No, a real victim doesn't want to talk about it. A real victim doesn't want to share that story. Come on, like... Hey, you, you just can't keep canceling whoever you want by going on Twitter and making everyone believe you. It's disgusting behavior from these, I, I, I shouldn't even call them, I'm going to call them people from now on, because they are not women. Real women don't do this. I, I just, this is beyond me. I will put the link in the, like I said, in the pinned comment in the description, but Amber Heard, you are a garbage to your human being. Quit it. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I want to give a huge shout-out to my Subscribestar and Patreons. You guys literally make this channel possible. Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris C, Dave Ross, David L, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Sanjuro, Jeremy Burtz, Joe Bussify, Kato Roan, Magical Exotic Diamonds, Mighty Pauls, Mike Buckner, Robert, Steve Glasker, Timothy French, Alice Matt Films, Alexander Trapp, Way Else One, and Troy Reiser. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe and like on the way out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.